Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today we're continuing our series on the filibusters of Texas with uh, Luis Michael Are, also known as Don, Lu Don Lewis. Uh, he was, uh, well, he was one of the, well, I believe the first pirate uh, in Texas. And uh, when the War of 1812 ended, he uh, showed up there in Galveston and set up shop uh, in 1816. Uh, hold on, my dog wants it. I'm back. And set up shop in Galveston, uh, where once in Galveston, he went ahead and befriended many of the people and the the leftovers from the Hidalgo movement. You know, I mentioned that uh, several episodes ago, and uh, one of them was a fellow by the name of Don Jose Miguel de Herrera, and Herrera went ahead and appointed Ari, um, see, what was his official title? Uh, governor of the province of Texas in the Republic of Mexico. So Mexico as a nation did not exist at this time down in Mexico. Mexico as a nation existed on Galveston Island, which, you know, kind of goes against, um, you know, many preconceived notions. And uh he liked the idea. Uh, I mean, in Herrera's mind, uh, having a French privateer stationed in Galveston posed a threat to uh, the Royalists and a lot of their shipping, and that's what they were hoping to do. You know, they were essentially carrying on pirating under the Mexican flag. And uh, this this was a nice deal. Uh, in fact, Ari, well, Herrera went ahead and gave Ari uh, the title of Commodore of the Fleet. Uh, and when the excitement over the whole uh, Republic of Mexico died down, uh, he went back to his pirating. And, um, you know, it was about that time that uh, good old Henry Perry showed up. Now, I mentioned Henry Perry yesterday. I'll be talking a little more about him today along with Ari because the two uh, worked together for a while. Now, Ari... Uh, when he started harassing uh, royalist uh, shipping, he was very successful. I mean, this is a guy, he was definitely a pirate. I mean, filibusters are usually uh, the name associated with people that came in and tried to uh, take over the land. But it also applied to pirates. So, I mean, you literally have uh, <laughs> a filibuster here. Now, uh, they... Besides uh, plundering Spanish shipping, they started getting into the slave ships. And about that time, uh, another character arrives in Texas to become part of this operation, and that was the Bowie brothers. And there were three of them, uh, uh, Resin, James, and John. And they began transporting the slaves from Texas on into Louisiana, and they developed a lucrative trade. Um now, uh, after being with Ari for a short period of time with this profitable pirate operation, uh, Henry Perry set off on his own and had his own ships, and he was there uh, on Bolivar. Now, um, then uh, eventually what happened, the Spanish uh, got upset with them and sent a force there, and the pirates went ahead and essentially shut things down, but they, uh, about that time, they also hooked up with, uh, Javier Mina, and between Mina, Ari, and, uh, Henry Perry, uh, they created almost like a triumvirate, or, or uh, all three of them. Now, uh, before leaving, uh, the city of Galveston, uh, due to Spanish pressure, they went ahead and burned the city, uh, and they decided to move their operation to Matagorda. Uh, operated out of Matagorda for a little while. Then finally, they moved down to Marina, uh, excuse me, the Soto La Marina, Mexico, which is about 150 miles south of Matamoros. Um, 
they captured the town uh, and then the three of them argued over who was going to be in charge and what they were going to do next. Um, and it was out of that argument that Henry Perry went ahead and took a force, marched into Texas, tried to capture uh, Goliad, was not successful at it. Uh, and he finally found himself surrounded uh, by Royalist forces with five to one odds. He said he would rather die than surrender. He ended up dying. But before we close the door on Henry Perry, two of the members of that expedition we're going to see later on in Texas history. Um, let's see, what was it? Uh, one of them uh, ended up being, um, what was his name? Uh, Adrian Wohl, who be went on to become a Mexican commander, and you're going to hear more about him uh, during the Texas Revolution. And another one was John Davis Bradburn, who was the John Davis Bradburn involved with Anahuac disturbances. But getting back to Ari, uh, Ari decided to, uh, after all that disagreement, to go back to Galveston. He goes back to Galveston, and guess what? Another pirate has already set up operations there by the name of Jean Lafitte. Uh, so it, it became quite an interesting uh, situation. They did uh, develop uh, a government and it was on board the cruiser, uh, the Carmelita. Uh, so you have uh, the Lafitte brothers because there were uh, several of them. Um, then you also had a General Humbert who I'll be talking about later. <clears throat> the Baratarians and Luis uh, Ari. And uh, another character who was with Ari uh, was uh, Toledo. Now, if you remember me mentioning Toledo, he was part of the Gutierrez McGee expedition, uh, a Spaniard who stirred up trouble and everybody wanted to keep his eyes on him. Uh, he's still stirring up trouble in Texas at this point, uh, but it's almost like uh, he's willing to join just about any filibuster uh, group that has some action going on. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make you away, make you aware of uh, Ari and his activities. Because um, this took us into uh, the whole episode with uh, the pirates. Um, and you can see the intertwining uh, of everything, uh, Henry Perry, uh, Louis Michael Ari, Jean Lafitte, uh, Don Toledo, uh, all these people come and go. And uh, we still have not seen uh, the end of a lot of these people that kind of recycle through uh, Texas history. And um, we'll cover more uh, with some of the French incursions uh, into Texas with the filibustering. Uh, General Lallemand, General Herbert, um, and those activities. Because many times people, they say, the French, uh, you know, they knew we had French colonies, but they didn't realize we had these French generals that uh, were highly involved uh, with Texas, some who had fought in the Napoleonic Wars. So more to come. We'll talk to you later. This is Jeff Murrah wishing you vaya con Dios, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>